how I budget for Christmas presents. And welcome back to my channel if you're new here don't forget to subscribe like comment and share and if you're a returning subscriber welcome back as always also don't forget to like comment and share and welcome everybody to my vlogmas special <laughs> um, I've been really enjoying doing these videos and yeah I hope you're enjoying them too. so in today's video we're going to talk about how I budget for Christmas presents each year because I do have a bit of a system and I feel like it works really well for me um, I think Christmas anxiety can really stress a person out and if you're a big family like ours and a family that everybody buys for everybody it can get a little bit stressful so I'm going to tell you what I do to minimize the stress and basically make Christmas shopping a fun experience <laughs> So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make a list. You're going to want to make a list of everybody that you need to buy for, including kids. So every adult, every kid, whether they're going to be there or not be there, if you're planning to buy them something for Christmas, put them on your list. So if your list is like 30 people, it's 30 people and that's what you're going to work with. If it's five people, then it's five people and that's what you're going to work with. Write all the names down so that you can visualize each thing that you need to buy and you can visualize each person you need to buy for and you can basically um, work it out and, and not panic it so that you don't know who you're buying for and who's left and who's not left and keep a list of the names and keep that list safe. The next thing you're going to do is start early. I know that when, like me for example, I like to start thinking about Christmas in June. And people are like, oh my god, how can you be thinking about Christmas? There's so much happening. Christmas is such a big thing and it's such a big expense. People don't understand that you do have to start planning for these things way in advance. It doesn't have to be super in-depth in June, but in June start thinking, start getting ideas like what do I want to get for this one and what do I want to get for that one? What does my significant other, is he the type of person like Marco where I have to start nagging in June already for him to figure out what he wants for Christmas, you know what I mean? You have to keep all those factors in mind, so start early. Early can be October for you or August for you or... But definitely, if I can give any advice, do not start Christmas gift shopping and planning in November. Firstly, because it is going to give you way, way, way too much anxiety to get everything done. And secondly, is that things get more expensive the closer you get to the festive season. So if you're going to buy your things early enough, you won't pay as much as what you would end up paying later. So start early. Then what is always a great idea is once you've got your list of names, figure out how much you want to spend per person for the adults and how much you want to spend per child. So for example, if you want to spend 200 per adult for a gift or if you want to spend 100 grand per adult for a gift or um, whatever your budget is, you work it out and by each name you write 200, 200, 200, 200 or if there's a specific person you want to spend more on, you just write the amount that you'd like to spend next to that person's name. Once you've done that, those numbers are going to look super intimidating because it's going to add up to an amount that you like, where am I getting this money? Don't stress, if you have done this early enough, the, the tips that are about to come will help with all of that. So that's the, the next step. Write your budget per person and not your budget for gifts in total. Mm -hmm. 
Right, once you've done that, you're going to prioritize a specific amount of people for a specific month. So you're going to take about five people each month. So this will also determine how early on you will start budgeting. So if you've got 20 people you need to buy for, you're going to have to split it over five months, which means you're going to have to start around June, July. You see what I'm saying? If you've only got five people to, to budget for, you can split it over two months or three months, depending on your financial situation and how you want to do it. But usually what I do is I start from about October and I basically group the people. What I usually do is I buy for all the kids first. So I take all the kids into one month and I buy for all the kids or I split the kids over two months and then from there I then deal with the adults in the months after that. So that's that tip. Split, prioritize your gifts per month and the gifts that are more expensive closer to December, try and prioritize those for the earlier in the year gifts. And the gifts that are not so expensive, prioritize for towards the end of the year. Another thing to keep in mind is that there are other expenses in December like food, alcohol, parties, in South Africa that's usually what we do, um, and things like that and you do need cash for that so save your more expensive gifts for early in, in the year and your less expensive gifts for later in the year. That allows you to have a better budget all around for December. <laughs> Okay, then next what you're going to do is you've now prioritized that, for example, you're going to have five people a month from June. Okay, you then every month have to work out your budget that everything is paid and with the money left over, you will then use that money to buy the gifts. Money is basically going to be put aside each month for the gifts. My main, main, main thing that I learned about or tip that I learned about when it comes to buying Christmas gifts is don't wait. Don't try and save your money until December and then go and buy gifts. It's not gonna work because what's gonna happen is you're gonna put that money away, you're gonna put that money away and something's gonna happen and you're gonna end up using that money for something else. You're gonna get hungry and wanna get takeout and you're like, oh, let's just put it back, let's just put it back. Don't do that. So my tip for that is buy the gifts in the month you've budgeted for them if in june or if in november you budgeted to buy five gifts go and buy those gifts in that month take them and buy them and then put them away you don't have to wrap them or anything like that but buy the gifts in that month and go and put them away and then each month you're going to do the same so in June you'll buy five gifts and you'll put them away you're not gonna put the money away you're putting the gifts away that way there's no way that you can end up spending that money on anything else okay so to me that was one of the most important things to learn is that don't try and save the money because if you're like me I can't save at all so it was always easier for me to just buy the gifts put them away I know they're there I know that person is sorted for I don't have to touch it you know what I mean that's the next tip By the time December comes, you should have now bought majority of your gifts because you've been buying every month. They are gonna rack up in your cupboard or somewhere, but only wrap your gifts in December. And the reason I'm saying this is because if you're going to wrap your gifts beforehand, you're gonna have to buy wrapping paper that you have not budgeted for. So remember to budget for your wrapping paper for December. And this is again why buy your uh, less expensive gifts in December, it leaves you with extra money to play around with. You're gonna buy your wrapping paper in December and you're going to wrap your gifts and this way you will know if you have missed anybody, but you will also know that which gift is for which person because you will have everybody's gifts. You can lay it out in front of you and you'll be like, mm, I actually think I'm gonna swap that one with that one or do this and this. If you wrap, wrap your gifts bef the, the same month that you buy them thinking you're saving yourself time, you're gonna forget what you bought and what's in there. You know what I mean? And then you're gonna be like, mm, what did I buy for that one? And what, I can't remember what I wrapped. 
So don't do that. Leave your wrapping for the last month. And yeah. So I hope that this helps you guys budget for Christmas. This is what I do and I must say it really, really works for me. I do it every year and people always say I'm crazy, but let me tell you, Christmas is expensive. And no matter what household you come from, Christmas is expensive. So it's important to budget and make sure that you are having the best experience and it is not going to put you out in January. This way you've budgeted in a way that your December salary will stay over for January because there's no extra expenses for you to have to spend. So yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. If you have any questions for me, leave it down in the comments. I try my best to reply to all of them. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this. I hope you enjoy. I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Happy Vlogmas. Mwah.